Does anyone else drink out of a cocktail mixer? Because glasses are too small. Or is it just me? Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a homeware haul for you. So I've got um, some homeware, obviously. I've also got some plants. I don't know if you consider plants as homeware, but you know, it's always gonna be a few plants on here, isn't there? So uh, no long intro with this one. If you're new here, do hit subscribe, but let's get straight into it. So the first uh, place that I went to was Urban Outfitters. They've had a sale on, so they've had their January sales, and recently they also had the additional 30% off. I picked up a couple of these big green cushions, velvet cushions, and these were down, I think they were £35 originally, and they were down, well basically they worked out at £12.60 once all the discounts had come off them, which I thought was a really good price. They're nice quality cushions, the insides feel pretty decent, and uh, they zip on and off so you know you could probably wash them and yeah I bought two of those because as you can see our sofa is grey and I just thought it'd be quite a nice colour this colour is very trendy you know you've got some brilliant sofas at the moment that are this colour if you want to do a bold statement but if not and you've already got a sofa just want to jazz it up a bit I thought uh, these were pretty good for £12.60 each I would call that a goldy moss colour would you? <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're going to look quite nice either side of the sofa. Our sofa, by the way, I've never told you this before, but this actually came um, from the rented accommodation that we were renting before we bought our place. And it's an old Ikea one, and it was brilliant that our old landlord offered it to us because you could take it apart, we've got a very narrow staircase here, so we were able to get it in um, okay, which is brilliant. It's very comfortable as well. But it wasn't in very good condition. It was a kind of dark blue canvas that had gone a bit yucky. But there is actually a company, um, that I'll link below if I can find it, that you can um, order any cover for any IKEA sofa from, and it is still going strong, this cover that I ordered. So it's literally sorted out our sofa for, I think the cover was probably about 300 pounds, so it wasn't cheap, but it has lasted really, really well. And I think I chose a good color because back then I chose this and I still like this charcoal. And as I say, just mix and match different cushions on it and you can't go wrong really always will look uh, new and different and it doesn't matter what sort of colour scheme you're going for you can just switch up the cushions so that's just uh, my little tip for any of you that are considering buying a sofa maybe go for something a little bit more neutral and play around with cushions if you want to keep it for a long time you will have seen this cushion if you've seen my office makeover so that was done last summer so I bought this cushion back then but uh, it was in the sale, so I thought I might as well get another one, considering that it was only £7 in the sale. Many of these items might be still available, so do have a look in store. They're not online, I've already looked for you. But do check out your local Urban Outfitters if you want to try and get hold of any of them. Yeah, so for £7 I've got another Peace Man <laughs> uh, cushion. I also picked up this huge tapestry. So Urban Outfitters do these tapestries that I'm sure you will have seen that you can hang above your bed or you can hang them on a wall somewhere just to jazz up the wall a bit, I guess. And yeah, it is absolutely gigantic. Let me just show you how big it is. So it's got a circle in the middle. So that's, that's about half of it. And then it's that again. There you go. So you can, you can judge how big it is. I mean, this would fill a massive wall so actually if you had a smaller wall or a narrow sort of chimney stack or something this would be no good for it because it's actually too big i guess you could fold it over but it's got a big circle and it goes uh yeah to a circular design in the middle the colors on it are sort of pastel-y so not really our style too much but i thought i mean it was only down to i got this one when i was abroad and it was in europe oh it's it's got caught on a cactus sorry um, yeah, it was down to like 19 euros and then the 30% uh, came off that as well. So I thought if we don't end up hanging it somewhere, I'll either end up giving it away. But I thought I could do something quite cool out on the roof terrace in summer. You know, maybe use it um, as a bit of a picnic blanket or maybe throw it over the washing line and create like a big drape and string loads of lights up and sort of have it as a bit of a kind of, I don't know what you call it, like an almost like a tent, I suppose, out there. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I'll make uh, some use of it. Their tapestries are quite expensive. That was down from 77 euros. So it's pretty good going for, um, yeah, probably ended up being about 15 euros. 
Anthropology had some great stuff in their sale, but I didn't buy too much, but I did pick up this. I think this was down, oh there we go, um, it was originally £16 and it was down to £9.95. And I just thought that was such a cool little vase. You wouldn't fit many flowers in it, but I think you could put a single stem in that and it would look really, really cool. They had a shorter one as well and a slightly taller one, um, but I went for the medium. <laughs> and yeah, that will look good on my mantelpiece um, with some of these uh, plants that I'm going to show you now. Ah, so Lidl had their cactuses back in stock, so of course I couldn't resist putting some into my trolley. So these were £4.50 each, which for this size cactus and a ceramic pot, I think is an absolute steal. Sainsbury sell a similar size cactus to this for roughly like £10 and it's not even in a nice ceramic pot, so really good price. Of course you might pick up some cheaper ones at your local flower market or garden centre, so by all means do check those out as well. Um, but if it's supermarkets that you are getting your plants from, I think Lidl you cannot go wrong with. Now one of these um, has been in our bedroom because um, cactuses are actually very good for the air that you're breathing in in the night time. So they will um, absorb the carbon dioxide and they will release oxygen into the air which is obviously very good for you, um, for your breathing throughout the night. And they don't take too much looking after, you don't need to really water them or do anything with them, so great plants to have around the home. These are the biggest ones I've had so far and I'm really pleased with those. But they are very spiky, so be careful. <laughs> and they had these in store, I think these were even cheaper, I think these were £3.89 each, which again, for these kind of succulents and houseplants, it's a really good price, especially when they're coming in pots like this. You've got a concrete one and this really nice earthenware pot. And this one I think is called Dragon's Tongue. Sorry, Dragon's Fingers. <laughs> and I'm not sure what this one's called, but really, really nice. Um, I don't think these will take a lot of looking after as well. So I think these will look quite nice on our mantelpiece. And the last one I got from in there was this succulent in a glass jar. So it's already been um, put together with the moss all around it and some twine and then a succulent in the pot there. So really nice piece. This would not look out of place at a high-end florist. And I think that one, again, was definitely under £5. I can't remember the exact price of it, so um, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. But they have them in at sort of random intervals. If I spot them in there, I'll always put it on my Instagram stories. So please check out my Instagram and go and follow me on there so that you can, um, yeah, know to nip down to your local little when these guys go in store. Because I tell you what, if you see them, you need to get them in your trolley quick because... These usually hit the store either on a Thursday or I think it's a weekend and they will be gone <laughs> within hours. I went into TK Maxx to look for a washing basket. We've got a really nice one, but the wicker actually started staining our clothes. All of our clothes were getting little brown marks on them, which didn't look too good. <laughs> anyway, I didn't find anything, um, but I have got one I'm gonna show you. But I picked up randomly in their clearance section this tape dispenser um that's literally all i got in there and that was like a pound or something in their clearance section but yeah thought that looked quite good on the green desk in the office so i haven't got the new laundry bag here to show you but i have got it here on the app to show you so um the h&m home app which as you guys know i get quite a lot of stuff from h&m and h&m home uh, they're now doing free delivery, which I don't know if, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing because I've got a feeling that there's going to be a lot of packages arriving at our place as a result of that. But very, very good. If you want to get any shopping from H&M, you can download their app and all delivery is free. I don't think it matters how much you buy either because I've literally just ordered this laundry bin for 8 99 and that is being delivered to my home for free. And this is it. So it's a very simple canvas drawstring and you can draw a string up the top if you don't want to see all your laundry in there. It's got a couple of handles to carry it around. Uh, so if you need to take it up and down stairs, it's quite handy for that as well. I just like the design. Our bathroom's grey, so I thought it'd look pretty cool in there. Um, yeah, with our grey bathroom. And the last thing I wanted to show you was this tray from Tiger. This was only a few pounds. I think it was like three pounds. And it's a sort of it's ceramic, but it's got little um, stones in it. And they had this in a bluish colour, I think, as well, in a white one. 
all the white ones, apart from this one, had sold out. So I think this must have been quite a popular piece. Because I can see why, actually, because it's got a lot of uses. You could um, have this by your bed, for example, just to keep coins in. Or you could do what I'm going to do with it, and I'm going to have um, plants in it and just use it as a little um, plant stand. And perfect, again, for the mantelpiece because of the size of it. I wish they had a few more. If I see more of these, I'll definitely pick up a couple more of those because I think, um, yeah, for the price, well, that was really, really good. So that is everything. Quite a short little haul for you, but I know that you want to see um, bits and pieces as I'm getting them. And I think I will do for you a room tour next of the lounge because it's looking all right at the minute. And now I've got all these bits and pieces. I'll do a lounge tour for you um, so you can see some of these pieces and how I've sort of put them all together. So do hit subscribe if um, that's your sort of thing. I've got plenty more videos coming for you. I have been filming like a crazy man. So there will be at least one upload every week, maybe two. And I'm sort of deliberating doing a bit of daily vlogging as well. If I can squeeze that in, I'm going to do that too. Um, so be sure to subscribe if you're new. Here, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.